Okay then my friends, so in this lesson we're going to connect our Next.js application to the AppRite project we just created and also set up a database connection so we can start saving data to it. So I'm currently on the AppRite docs right here, which are really good by the way. They give you a lot of guidance and loads of code examples, so definitely check them out if you get stuck. But I'm going to click on this quick start link right here to see how they suggest we get started. And then on the next page I'm going to select Next.js since that's what we're using on the front end. All right, so if we scroll down a bit here, we can see the first thing we need to do after we've already created the next JS project is to install the AppRite SDK using this command right here. So I'm gonna copy that command for later on. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, we're gonna see this code snippet right here showing us how to connect to an AppRite project once we've installed that SDK. So you can see we import this thing called client from AppRite and then you can use that to set up a new client connection to an AppRite project. And we can specify which project using the project ID. So we'll be creating code very similar to this in a moment within our own application, but just very quickly, first of all, I wanna show you where you can get this project ID from. So if you head back to your console and also click on the project that we made in the previous lesson, you should see after a moment, a project title, right? And then next to that is the project ID. So remember, this is where the project ID is right here. You're gonna need that in a few minutes. Anyway, now let's go back to VS Code and we're going to install the AppRite SDK package. So then back in our project, I'm going to cancel out this process which is running the application by clicking Control C and I'm going to install the AppRite SDK by pasting in what we just copied right there and pressing Enter. So that's going to install the package for us. Okay, so now that's installed, let's go ahead and make a new file for the connection code. I'm going to make that file inside a new folder called utils. Now this is just something I like to do, but feel free to make the file elsewhere if you prefer. Then inside this folder, I'm going to make a new file and I'm going to call that appwrite.ts. So then inside this file, we first of all need to import the client class from appwrite. So let's do that by saying import and then inside curly braces client with a capital C and that comes from the appwrite package. And now we've done that, we can create a new client instance, which then allows us to set up the connection to an AppRite project. So to do this, we can say export const client is equal to a new client instance. Now directly on this, we can chain a couple of methods which handle the connection to a project for us. The first one is the set endpoint method, which lets us register the public AppRite endpoint, which I'm just going to paste in right here. Now this endpoint doesn't have anything to do with our specific project, but it just specifies we're using AppRite hosted services using their endpoint. The second one is the set project method. And as an argument to this one, we pass in the project ID, which remember was inside the AppRite console in the place I just showed you. So I'm gonna bring that window right back over here. Woohoo! So I can copy that project ID and then we can just get rid of that window and we can paste the ID in right here as a string. All right, cool. So now we have this client connection set up and we export this client instance just in case we ever need to use it in another file later on, which we will do when we come to work with real time data. Anyway, the next thing we need to do is set up a connection to the database service using this client connection, because remember, that's the service we'll be using within this project. So to do that, we have to import something called databases, capital D, from the AppRite package. And once we've done that, we can come down here and we can say export const databases is equal to a new instance of the databases class. And as an argument to that, we pass in the client instance that we just created a moment ago. And what this does is create an instance of the databases service class for us. And it's with this databases instance that we can interact with the database that we made to do things like create new data, fetch data, delete data, etc. And again, the reason we export this is so that we can use it in another file later on. Now, like I said before, AppRite offers a whole bunch of different backend services like authentication, uh, cloud functions, storage, etc. And for each of those services, we'd have a different import right here for that service. For example, if we were using the authentication service, then we'd also import the account class and create an instance of that. And if we were using the storage service, we'd import the storage class and create an instance of that. 
So since we're only going to be using the database for now, we're just importing the databases class and using that. All right then. So now we have this setup file for connecting to the AppRite project. In the next lesson, we'll try using this to create new data in the database.